Well, thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate you braving the weather to come out here uh, and be with us tonight, because this is a special place. I'm in my 10th month, believe it or not, of somehow affiliated with East High School. And I've had the unparalleled joy of being here and calling this really my second home. And I wanna go through with you today a multitude of different things that may look different than what you're used to. You may be expecting some things today from what does our class schedule look like or what does the flow of the day look like? And all those things are important. And we're gonna talk about those things on the tour guide. But where I want my focus to be is why. Why are you here tonight? Why should you consider choosing Columbus East? Why is this a place that matters? Why is this a place that brings value to, uh, to our students, that brings value to our staff? And what I believe brings value to you, the family. Columbus East is not, a, is not a concept, it is not an idea. We are living this out as a passionate way of life and I wanna detail that out for you today. There's a lot of perceptions about East. Before I took this job here, there was perceptions that I had. But then I came inside, and then I looked around, and then I met the staff, I met the students, I started to meet our family, and my perception started to become my perspective. And my perspective is so much more clear now that I see the reality of who it is and what East is. And now this journey we're on right now is why we exist. And I wanna share that why with you today so you have a clear reason, a clear understanding of why this could be a wonderful school for your child to go on a journey for the next four years. Not only do we have great students here, but there's three things that I came through that I said, you know what, when I think of Columbus East, what is it? The first is genuine joy. I've been blessed beyond measure on how I have been received in this building. The students have been super awesome. The families have been great. The staff have been wonderful. But one thing I realized is there's a difference in the joy you have and the joy you perceive to have. The kids here, the staff here, have a different type of joy that excites me. You can go to any school you want in America, any high school, and I'm telling you the graduation process is going to be basically the same. The classes they offer is the same. Everything they do is going to be the same. The difference is what joy do you have while you do that class? What joy do you have while you're interacting with that teacher? How do you feel when you do that? How does that teacher make you feel in the process? And one thing I've realized with our teachers, and I hope you see that tonight, I hope you saw the 100 teachers here tonight with the We Are Olympian shirts here because they matter, because you matter, but I also hope you see the joy in their heart. I hope you see the joy that they love what they do. I believe lifelong friends is an important thing. You may have heard this about Easton, maybe you haven't. But one of the first things I heard is East doesn't have cliques. Okay, you don't have, well, the athletes only hang out here. These kids only hang out over here. The AP kids only hang out over here. I commit any of you to walk our halls anytime you want. You can come with me and I'll tour you around. And what you will see is a class, a school, and a student body that just accepts one another. It's unique. It's different. It was new for me. And yes, I came from an elementary school, but before that, I was at Huntington North High School. Before that, I was up at South Bend at a high school. It's not like that. That's not normal. And you need to know that, that you're going to create lifelong friendships of people you probably never thought you'd be friends with. And I think that's important. And then finally, authentic experiences. Anyone can say, turn to page 105. Today, we're going to learn about this rock formation. It's another thing to say, Mr. Hambling, take his kids every weekend to go spelunking in the fall. It's, it's one thing to learn about oceanic science. It's another thing to take your kids down to southern Florida to actually do the experiments and learn about it. It's another thing just to do class. It is a special thing to have an authentic experience in your class. And that is what we want to create, what we want to uh, continually improve upon is when your students come in here, they're having authentic experiences and they're not just doing class. So I say all this because who you are is who we are. Who I am is who we are. We are exactly the people in this room. We're exactly the people in our community. I am not greater than you and nor are you greater than I. We are in this together as one purpose and one body. And I'm going to tell you something special in this. You are not a number. If you walk through those front doors, you have a name and you have a purpose and it's not a number. You have a story of promise. 
And our job is to help you tell that story and then write that story. We want you to have that opportunity. There's a lot of schools, and I kind of talked about the normalcy that happens in schools. We can show you, and I think it's important, all of the success we've had, the number of AP classes, the number of state finalist awards we've had, et cetera, et cetera. But that's a number. And to be truthful, that's in the past. What does that have to do with you today? Today is your present and tomorrow is your future. And I want you to be able to see yourself at Columbus East because it's a special place. Just like this is my family. I love my family. My kids, I mean, my kids love me so much they're in the front row. Ain't none of y'all in the front row, but they came to see me in the front row. Respect. But those two kids are going to be with here at Columbus East. And I love them dearly. But you need to know, when they walk through, my, through the doors of Columbus East, my love isn't necessarily different than the love of the other kids in it. Because my responsibility is to every single student that walks through our doors. Because you matter. You're a, not a number. You're a person of promise with the story. But finally, I'm here, and a lot of my staff will understand this because we've been going through this whole Ted Lasso theme, but I believe and believe. A lot of people will just say, well, I believe X. I believe Y. But sometimes we forget to believe in our own belief. And this is important to me. This school is important to me. The culture we're creating is important to me. East Pride is important to me. And I want to believe and believe in that process. So we're going to go through this whole thing of what, how, and why. And this is what I want to touch base on. Because I think the majority of every school across America, every high school knows what they do. You could be relating this to your own work. You know what you do. Most know how you do it. But the reality is, very few know why they do it. When you have a long succession or timeline, you create your what. You do it over and over and over. And eventually, you probably create your how. How I do this, how I do that. But very few live out their why. And we want to live out our why every single day. We want our why to drive our what and our how. So there was a, I posted a picture over Christmas, or yeah, winter break, and I had some Columbus East gear on. And a fellow friend of mine who teaches in another district said, why do you wear Columbus East gear over break? I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, when I'm on break, because he's a teacher too, when I'm on break, I just want to be broken away. I don't even want to think about it. And I understood what that person was saying, but my response was so easy. When you love something more than yourself, you don't want to break from it. You want to see it through. You want to be with it. You're captivated by it. You're enamored by it. And that's how I feel about this student body. That's how I feel about our staff and this community. I've been enamored in these 10 months. And I don't want to leave it. Because the part of it is we're developing our why. Why we do it. And you may have gotten a postcard in the mail, and I hope you do. Um, and I or I hope you did get that postcard. It had our vision on the back. And this is what we try to live by each day. It's not to say we, we, we hit the mark every single day. We have flaws just like everyone else. I have exceptional number of flaws. But the vision is something I try and live by. I want to inspire, grow, empower, and connect the people of Columbus East High School. And we'll pause it there. It doesn't say the students. It doesn't say the teachers. It's the people. That's you, the family, as well. It's every single person we want to connect through a joyful and unparalleled life experience. When was the last time you came across someone full of joy that didn't have passion in life? When was the last time you came across someone with full of joy and you didn't want to be around them? When we're full of joy, when we're, when we're building life into one another, Great things happen, and that's how we create an unparalleled life experience. And that's what we want for your child for the next four years. But through that, we have expectations. I think that's, most people know me, I love expectations. I love standing, setting the standard high. I hate the concept of mediocrity. I despise status quo. We want your child to be wildly successful. We think your child can be wildly successful here, but it might look different. I think to be successful in the real world today, yes, you need to have a level of intelligence, but more than that, you have to be able to connect with someone. You have to learn how to connect with other people in a way that changes their life. And it's amazing. We all think you have to do something huge to change another person's life. But the reality is just saying, hey, I love your haircut. It looks really nice on you. That can change a person's life right there. 
and learning to tell someone something kind, putting yourself back to put someone else forward, connecting in a way is beautiful in how we move forward. Strive excellence while loving unconditionally. Same thing. And I'll be the first to tell you, I am very comfortable making your child uncomfortable in the classroom. I'm very comfortable telling your child no. I'm very comfortable telling your child, that class is too easy, you should take an, a harder class. I think the struggle is what makes people great. I don't think it's the comfort that makes people great. We may not always like it, but I've never had someone come back to me and say, thank you so much, Dr. Parsons, for taking it easy on me. I feel like I'm a better person for that. I think our responsibility is to cultivate young people to become amazing adults through purposeful struggle, but all of that while loving the person unconditionally. If you know someone loves you unconditionally, it is amazing what you'll do for them. If you know they genuinely care for you, if they see you as a person of promise with the story that needs to be told and needs to move further, it's amazing what that person will do for you. So we have to have an opportunity to show that unconditional love to everyone. I already talked about this, but never, never settle for the practice of mediocrity. And this is what I mean by that. We can go decade after decade after decade saying the same thing over and over and over. Any school can do that in America. Okay, that's called normalcy. When you know your what and you know your how, you're normalcy. But in four years, in 2028, if Columbus East looks exactly the same today as it does in 2028, as a principal, as a person who loves this building, I have let you down. We should continue to grow. We should continue to cultivate who we are. We should continue to change who we are. And then finally, always assume positive intent. The first thing we think of when we hear something slightly negative about us is we go straight to fear. But what if we teach our kids to find perspective in it, to maybe have a conversation, that maybe that wasn't their intent, but we took it the wrong way. Maybe that cuts down on drama. Maybe that cuts down on gossip. I don't think that's a bad thing. And maybe that cultivates a greater promise for the kiddos. And if we can do that, if we can create that, the final thing is I think we create trust. You have to trust us, we have to trust you. I understand we have to earn your trust, and that is something we want to earn. That is something we want to fight for. But in this, this is not a Columbus East thing. This is not a your student, your child. This is you, your student, and us. And I truly believe if through these expectations, you can rise up and come with us along that journey to match them, I believe we can achieve this stuff together. I believe we can change the face of education together. I believe we can change the outlook of what it looks like in Columbus, Indiana together. I believe we can give options and we can give passions and we can give desires to kids and excitement and inspiration that has not been seen before. And that's why we're here. We're here to inspire, not necessarily aspire. We want to, your kids to be great. And I'm gonna close on this, because I know my time is up. There's a, uh, an author, his name's Simon Sinek, love him. He wrote this book many years ago, and, and this uh, story has lived rent-free in my head for 15 years. He tells this story about this gentleman walking down the road by a stone quarry, and he sees a stonemason on the ground working. And he says, excuse me, sir, do you like your job? And he looks up and he says, I've been doing this job for 30 years. It's back-breaking work. The sun beats down on my neck. I'm tired. It's monotonous, but you know what? It pays the bills. It's a job. Says, okay, thanks for your time. Goes 30 feet further. Sees another guy doing the exact same thing. He says, excuse me, sir, do you like your job? He pauses and he looks up and he says, no. I love my job because I'm building a cathedral. You know, this job is monotonous at times. It's backbreaking work at times, it's painful. I know I'm doing this and I'll probably never see the end product of the cathedral, but I love my job because I'm building a cathedral. They're both doing the exact same work. One only understood what he was doing and how he was doing it. The other one understood why he was doing it. And I think that is what I wanna share with you 
for Columbus East. I believe we understand why we're doing what we're doing. And we want that to drive our work. We want it to be our passion in here so that it can be instilled in your child to be successful out there. We're building something special here. It's going to continue into the future. And I would challenge you with one thing, something I ask myself often, and I think it's good for anyone. The question is two parts. Why do you do what you do? And then ask yourself, is your why evident to others? Or do you have to explain it? And in four years, I hope your child doesn't have to explain it. I hope their actions are very visible of their why in life, and I hope our actions are visible to you. Thank you for your time. Thank you.